hello guys welcome back to our channel and today we are going to do an unboxing video of our camera our camera name is eos mark 2 camera okay this is from the canon and today we will be doing unboxing video of this camera and if you enjoy our video and if you like the video and if you also want to buy that camera then the link is given in the description so please watch the video till the end so if you are planning to buy this camera then you should watch this video before you buy so that you will know how the camera looks and how it is how its functions are so you will be clear about it and you can buy it according to your wish so let's start then okay guys so as you can see this is our camera its name is canon eos m50 mark ii okay so we are going to unbox it today so let me open up this box so as you can see here at first we got the guidebook of this camera this is its guidebook and here are given guides in different languages english french spanish and other languages so you can read them if you want and here is our main cameras and other necessary equipments as you can see here so first of all let me show you one by one all the parts so first of all these are the cables of our battery charger okay so if our camera battery finishes we need to charge it so these are the cables of those battery charger and as you can see here this is that battery charger okay so the camera battery should fit here and these are the cables and here is its plug so we can put it here as you can see this plug will put it here and then we'll plug it and we can charge its battery so this is also canon's battery charger and our next thing is its battery okay so this is our camera's battery as you can see this was its stand and this is our camera's battery as i told this battery would fit here like this and you can plug it in the charger and charge it now let me unbox our camera so this is our camera as you can see it is wrapped in so as you can see here this is our camera okay let me show you from back side this is our front side of our camera okay now the main thing of the camera is here its lens okay so here is our lens of the camera as you can see here this is the lens of our camera it unlocks like this okay it's working fine now let's test our camera by attaching all these necessary accessories so first of all we will open the lid of our camera so here is its lid so first of all we will open it okay so this is our camera now we will open the lid of our lens as well so first of all we will open this lid because this is the part which is fitted in the camera so as you can see our lens now we will take our camera and the lens and we will put it like this above it and then we will roll it okay so that it perfectly fits in the camera as you can see that sound came now it means it is perfectly fitted in the camera so this is also the cover of the lens now as you can see this is our camera okay now our camera is ready to shoot photos and videos now let me show you some features of this camera but before that let me show you one more thing as you can see here i have also bought a bag for the camera this is a very nice bag and the camera is very protected here so if you want to buy this bag you can also buy it i will give link in the description the price of this bag is 13 dollar which is 1000 ic so you can buy this from the link given in the description as you can see here is a pocket also in this bag where you can store your batteries and other charging cables and here we can keep our camera safely okay like this we can keep our camera over here and 
and inside there are two small bags as you can see here. In here also we can keep small batteries for the camera. Okay. Now let me show you one more thing. This battery. This is also a battery of the camera which I bought separately. So that if one battery finishes of the camera, we can charge it and we can use the next battery of this camera. As you can see, this is also the same battery. So you can also buy this. Now let's see some internal parts of the camera. So first of all, let me cover the lens with this lid or the lens might get dirty. So now if you want to take out the lens again, how would you do it? As you can see here, beside this lens, there is a small button. So if you want to take out this lens again and keep another kind of lens, so you can just press this button and then rotate it like this and it will come out. Okay. It was simple. And if you want to put it back again, you don't need to press this button. You can just simply put it over it and rotate it and the sound will come like tick and if that sound comes then you can understand that it is fit perfectly okay so this sound should come now as you can see here now in this camera there is also a flashlight inbuilt so here it is the flashlight okay so as you can see here is also a small flashlight it looks small but it is also very powerful okay it gives huge flashes now this is the lens and this is the flashlight of the camera now let's see the battery part of the camera below under the camera there is its battery part and its sd card part now as you can see here this is the place where we keep our battery and the storage so to open this we will push it that side like this and it will just open it out okay now as you can see here we will insert our battery and this is our SD card in which all the photos and videos are stored. This is a 64 GB SD card. Okay. I got this with the camera. So if you won't get it or if you want to buy a higher storage device, then you can buy it separately. Mine is 64 GB. And with that storage card, you will also get this card. Okay. Of that sd card now in case if this gets damaged and if here are all your photos which were stored then you can use this software and here is this activation key of one year okay which i got so if this gets damaged in case then you can also back up all your photos through that software so this card is of that software you will also get it with the camera so let me open the camera and show you first of all now let me put the sd card First of all, we'll keep our SD card over here like this and we'll press it. Then the SD card is inserted. Now we'll keep our battery. Okay. So inside here, as you can see, there are three golden colors you might be seeing. And in battery also, there are three golden colors in this corner. Okay. So you should insert it similar way. If you insert it in the wrong way, then the camera won't work. And as you can see, here are three golden strips inside the camera. Now in according to that, we have to insert this battery as well. So let me insert it. Okay. It's like this. So we will just push it like this and then we will insert it and we'll click it. Okay. So battery is inserted. Now, if you want to take out the battery, you can just see this gray color one. As you can see here, you will just push it this side and the battery will come out automatically. Okay. So we have inserted the battery. Now we'll again close this and then push it backwards. Now our battery is inserted. Now we can operate the camera. But before that, let me show you some more things which is outside the camera. So as you can see here, here is written mic. Okay. So this is the place where we plug in our mic. If you are using, ex if you are using an external mic, so this is the place or the port where we plug in our mic. So as you can see, it opens like this. We have to open it slowly. It will open like this and you can spin it like this. As you can see, and here we have to plug our mic if you are using an external mic or the camera has also inbuilt mic with it. But if you want to use an external mic, you can plug in the mic here and then use it. Okay. Now let me close it and 
in this next side there is written hdmi okay so here is also a port where you can plug in your mobile cables and many other cables as you can see okay so these are some of the hardware of the camera now uh, let me show you the internal part of the camera okay so first of all let me show you some more thing about the camera as you can see here this is the screen of the camera okay the main display you can also see the videos and photos through here but if you see through the screen it will be easier and this is a touch screen okay so you can also operate it with your hand or here you can see some buttons and joystick so you can also operate from there it's your wish so first of all as you can see this was its main display so we will take out it from here like this we will do and we will take out it like this okay now we can also fold it okay after folding we can keep it here like this as you can see we will fold it in this way see we folded and then we can again insert it like this so here is our display now okay you can choose it anyway now you can keep it like this for selfies okay because in cameras you can't take selfies so you have to just put this lens towards your face and you can see that everything which is displayed in the camera from here okay from this screen so let me turn on the camera and show you first of all so this is our on off cam button of the camera as you can see here on and off so we will just do it on and our camera will be turned on as you can see here our camera is on okay now after owning the camera first of all we will take out the cover of the lens now as you can see in the screen here is written something push the triangle and hold the lens towards the triangle and then rotate the lens to enable shooting it's written something like that so what does that mean that means as you can see in the lens here is this part okay this triangle part so this one you have to push it this side like this see you have to push and hold it keep on holding it like this and then you have to rotate the lens in this way okay and then leave that one as you can see it is rotated now see it will be like this okay it won't go back for going back again you have to again you have to again pull the triangle part like this and you have to again rotate the lens slowly so then it will go okay as you can see so first to enable shooting we have to pull this one towards the triangle and then you have to rotate it like this until the lens opens fully okay now you can enable the shooting as you can see here in the lens so if you also want a tutorial on how to operate this camera you can send me in the comment box i will make separate video for that one okay if you want the tutorial so first of all i will explain some basic functions in this video now as you can see here these are all the buttons of our camera as you can see here now first of all let me show you some basic functions and buttons so this button means to shoot photos okay from if you press this button then only the photo will shoot okay and this button as you can see here this small button with a red dot that is only made for video if you press this then only video will record okay not photos so this one button is for photos and this one button is for videos and this is just like a scrolling wheel as you can see here this is scrollable i can scroll it so if you want to adjust some lights or something in the camera then you can scroll through this and adjust the light or sound or anything else and then this is the on off button as i already said you and here are and when you click the photos once where would you see it for example i will just click a photo of this my battery okay okay i just clicked a photo now where would i see it i would see it here as you can see here here is a button with a video mark in it okay so in this video mark if you click then see the photo which i clicked is here so in this way you can see the photo and this is also a touch screen okay so you can also operate it with your hand and you can just do focus like this with by touching through your hand and everything so these are touch screen and here is a menu button as you can see so this is basically a settings button okay if you click this then you can adjust the settings of the camera as you can see and this this circle part is basically a joystick okay here are other functions also but this is a joystick in which you can move left right up and down okay in the same way as you can see i'm going down like this and i'm going up in the screen as you can see down up and here 
let's do left right also see as i'm you can see i'm going left in this and now i'm going right so this works as a joystick okay if you click multiple photos for example i clicked one photo here and i clicked one photo of here now if you want to scroll through two photos then you can use this joystick okay here is my first photo and here is my second photo like this okay now you can scroll the photos through this joystick like this i want to see next photo then i will press this button see you can see my next photo this is our next photo like that and you can also scroll it through your hands like this as you can see here next photo next photo next photo like that okay now if you want to delete this then here is the delete one okay in this joystick only there are marks given over here okay so here is in the blue mark there is a dustbin sign so that means delete if you want to delete then you will click on delete and here will come two options so if you don't want to use your hand then just move the joystick towards erase button and then press ok now where is the ok button in this camera as you can see here this in the middle of the joystick there is a set button okay and in above that there is given a mark called q so that means okay in this camera okay okay button so if you press that button set or q it will be delete or okay that is that means okay button okay or enter button so let me delete all these photos now now as i showed you the basic functions of the camera let me show you one more thing this flashlight okay now as you can see this is part where we can attach an external flashlight okay if you are not satisfied with the flashlight power of this camera and if you want to attach an external flashlight then you can attach it through here now let me show you the flashlight of this camera okay now first of all as you can see here this part this part is a place where you can attach an external flashlight okay so if you are not satisfied with the flashlight of this camera or if its power is too low then you can attach an external flashlight which you bought in here now uh, i also have bought an external flashlight so i will also attach it in the end of the video to show you all so if you want to watch that then please watch the video till the end so first of all let me show you the camera's flashlight okay as you can see here this is the camera's flashlight here now to open it just you have to pull it upwards like this okay now this is the camera's flashlight okay when it is night then you can use this flashlight to shoot or if it is day also you can use it to shoot for better glow in the face of a person now how to turn on this flashlight you know if you just pull it upwards then it won't turn on okay you have to turn it on from the camera now how to do that let me show you as you can see here this button beside this trash button there is a button with a current symbol in it in that is the button of the flashlight okay as you can see this one button the right side of the joystick that button is the button to turn on the flashlight now when you click that button you will get two options so one is auto build in flash and next in build in flash on now if you keep this auto build in flash then camera will automatically detect if it is dark place then it will automatically turn on the light if it is bright then it will keep the light and it will not turn on the light okay if it is bright now next button you may be get to see is build in flash on now if you click this then even it's dark or bright then it will turn on the flash now i did turn on now when i click as you can see the flash came now let me show you also from here as you can see now i have clicked then the flash came okay now in that way if i do on then the flash will turn on okay now here you can see this now you might be thinking what is this now these are different modes of shooting okay now for example this p mode means program a where you can adjust the brightness and this tv means shutter priority means you can choose how the object looks it should look frozen or it should be like flowing in that way now this av means you can choose how the background looks how the background should be blur in that and you can adjust it and this manual exposure m means you can also adjust the motion appearance and the brightness of the subject and this movie recording mode means you, this is made for recording that uh, videos and specific method so where you can adjust everything like background blur and colors and filters etc and this is the filter mode where there are different kind of filters and you can use them and these all are also separate functions which you can choose to get to record a specific or a perfect video okay so you can adjust everything from here 
and you can record a perfect video from this camera okay now if you want a tutorial on how to operate all these functions of the camera please send me in the comment box so that i will make a separate video for it now let me attach the flashlight and show you but before that let me show you one more thing of this camera okay in the underside of the camera you can see here there is a place to screw up something okay so what is this now this is the place where you can screw up its stand now i have also bought a separate stand for this camera okay now if you also buy a separate stand then this is the place where you have to attach the stand okay i will also teach you how to attach the stand in the end of the video after keeping mm -hmm. the flashlight now i am going to show you one more thing of this camera okay and that is this this is an sd card reader okay now how you will you transfer the photos and videos which is taken from this camera to your device okay there are two method one is there is a separate app for this camera which you can install okay now if you install that app then you can also control this camera from your smartphone okay like turning on the video turning off the video and focusing on things you can sit in a far place and you can just control the camera from your smartphone and you can also view all these photos and videos and transfer it directly from there okay now if you don't want to do that then you can also use this sd card reader which you have to buy separately okay it is not included in the camera now how this works is as you can see this is the storage of the camera sd card now here are all the photos and videos stored so you just have to insert this sd card at here and then you have to plug it in your device or laptop or computer or anywhere and then you can easily transfer the photos and videos from here and if you don't want to do that then i will also give you a link of this camera in the description the app of this camera you can download the app of the camera and you can also transfer everything from there and if you are deciding to buy this camera if you like this camera then you can also buy it i will give the link in the description and i bought this camera for 930 dollar which is 70000 ic okay okay so if you are deciding to buy this camera so you can buy it from the link in the description now let me show you by attaching the flashlight which i said and the stand also okay now let me show you by attaching the flashlight in this camera but before that let me show you one more function of this camera which i missed and that is the zoom function okay now as you can see in this lens you can also zoom it from the lens okay now no, you cannot zoom the videos and photos from the camera itself you have to zoom it from this lens so how to zoom now as you can see here are different numbers from 15 to 45 okay now you have to zoom it by rotating the lens okay this middle part there are two sides which can be rotated one is this one and one is this one okay so this bigger one you have to rotate to zoom the photos and videos okay now as you can see i have focused the camera on the package of our battery of the camera okay now this is the normal mode okay normal photo of the camera now if i zoom it as you can see i am rotating the lens and then it's being zoomed okay as you can see how i rotated i just rotated it like this okay now from 15 to 45 how much you want to zoom that you can choose and you can rotate okay from this you have to rotate you can't rotate and zoom it from the camera itself by doing touch screen like this like this you can't you have to zoom it from here in this camera and then you have to shoot and next thing is this another rotating function now what is this there are two rotating functions this one is for zoom this bigger one is for zoom and what is this one now this is for focus okay now there are two types of focus in this camera one is auto focus and manual focus now how to choose that one is from here as you can see here is af and mf now mf means manual focus and af means auto focus now in auto focus it will automatically focus and just like if you are focusing on a person or any subject then it will make that things clear and the rest of the side will be blurred okay now in manual focus what you have to do is you have to focus by rotating this lens now if i rotate the lens the photo will be blurred as you can see and in the place where i will focus it will be clear as you can see so this is a bit complicated to explain now if you want me to explain this in detail then watch my next video which i'm going to make of this camera okay now let me show you by just attaching the flashlight of this camera 
now as you can see this is the flashlight which i bought for my camera okay this is an external flashlight which i bought now i'll be showing you by attaching this in this camera and if you want to see the unboxing video of this flashlight i have also made it separately in my channel so please go there and watch it if you want to see an unboxing video of this also so i will just show you by attaching this flashlight in this camera so that you will know how it works okay so first of all this is my flashlight let me arrange it like this and then now as you can see in this camera in this part we have to attach this flashlight and in this flashlight also there is similar part as you can see here so in every flashlight there will be given this kind of part okay so you can easily attach it in this camera now how you do it is you just have to put it like this as you can see here just put it like this and slowly push it inside okay like this now it is attached but it is not fully attached it is very loose it can come out any time okay so beside every flashlight there will be given a small lock okay as you can see here now when you push this lock in that side like this then this is finally attached now this won't come out okay as you can see it will be very strong and you can click the photos easily from here okay now now as you can see when i turn on the flashlight it will click photos very and this flashlight is very strong as well so it is recommended to buy this flashlight if you want to shoot like a professional now as you can see this flashlight and here are also many functions but i will show you it in my next video so please watch that also now as you can see its power as you can see it is very strong you might not be able to see it in the camera but in real it's very strong and powerful okay okay guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you want to buy this camera or if you want to buy this camera's bag then i will keep both the link in the description as you can see this camera bag is very useful for your camera so if you are deciding to buy the camera you must buy this for carrying your camera from different places and this camera also first of all you have to buy this so if you are interested in buying this camera i will put both the links in the description please go and check it out so you can buy it and thank you for watching please like share and subscribe my channel